Hello YouTube, it's One Fish, Two Fish, ROC, coming back with yet another installment on my substrate comparison series. As you know, I got my most recent samples from substratesource.com, so I thought we would take a look at the last of the series, see how they compare color and texture wise. We'll start down here with the dry samples. First off, we have the super fine natural tan sand which is a very, very light, sugary sand, much like you'd see on a beach. Next to it is their Natural Tan Sand, another natural product. It's a bit coarser than the sugar sand, as you can see. To me, it looks more like a, maybe a pool filter sand. Uh, anybody that has experience with pool filter sand, please, please feel free to speak up. Next to that, we have the Frost White Natural Sand. This is the whitest sand that they carry. I'm showing these first three on a white versus black background to give you some sense of exactly how light they are. Next to that is what they call the Light Gray. That is a colored sand with the ceramic coating on it. Next to that is Ash Black. That's a darker gray. This here is more of a concrete gray, darker here. Then I placed some of the original Midnight Black Sand that I did in my earlier videos up next to that to give you a sense of how dark they are against a black sand. Next row over. This is another colored ceramic coated sand in desert tan. Move my ruler up a little bit here. To the right of that is what they call their dark tan and the brick red colored sand. And again, this is the original coffee brown sand that I had in the earlier video. Figured I'd put it over here again to give you a sense of how light their tans are against a very, very dark brown product. Last but not least, they offer two lava gravel samples. First we have the black here, black lava gravel. And we have the lava gravel in red. So there you have it, the samples all in dry form. I'm going to move over here to where I've put them under water again with some assorted stones uh, and some plants uh, to give you some context. Also, dimes for scale. All right, up here is that very sugary, super fine natural. I'm casting a shadow here. Move my camera right over here. The natural tan sand. Kind of like this one, actually. Nice small size. Looks real good. The frost white sand. Put that up against a green plant here and some really, really dark rocks. That would give you a rather dramatic look. Uh, definitely pop the color of the plants. Over here is that light gray and the ash black. Again, you could kind of see how the two grays compare. This is the colored desert tan. The color dark tan and the brick red. And then the two lava gram gravel excuse me, lava gravel samples, say that fast ten times. This is the black right here. And of course the red. And I don't know, perhaps you could use those in a biofilter, small scale of some sort. Uh, that might be a good use for those if you consider them to be too rough for whatever livestock you're planning to have in your tank. So there you have it. The last of the samples that I was able to get from the website. Perhaps you get some cool ideas on some mixing of samples, colors, substrates to kind of make your tank stand out. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again for all the subscriptions, the help, the comments, the encouragement. I really, really appreciate it. I know I got a lot to learn, but uh, just trying to 
give you guys a glimpse of what might be out there. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.